Okay, that's too summer for fun. Here I have this question for you guys. We are going to find out how many factors does the number 100,000 have. Wow, 100,000, huh? And remember, a factor is a number that divides into this number, okay? So for example, we know one will work. One's always a factor of any number, right? And of course, we're talking whole numbers and things like that. And in this case, we also know 20 is a factor of 100,000 because 20 goes into 100,000, right? And anyway, as always, you should pause the video and try to figure out how many factors does this number have, right? Okay, 100,000. Oh my god, 100,000, huh? Such a big number, isn't it? Hmm, I want to find out the number of factors of this guy. Okay, let's see. If we're talking about factors, uh, as I said, we have 20. It's a factor of that. And of course, you can just keep counting. Um, yeah, but let me just introduce you some notations as well. So I know 20 is a factor because we know 20 divides 100,000. This vertical bar, just you know, make sure that it's long enough like this. And this means device, meaning that this goes into this number like completely or even or whatever you want to say, right? So this is the notation for that. But let me just tell you guys another number that's not a factor of this though. For example, 15 is not a factor of 100,000. So we can write it as it doesn't divide, right? Just vertical bar and a chuk. <laughs> it does not divide 100,000, okay? All right, now let's see if we can find out a quick way to do this or not. I don't want to just list out uh, everybody. 25 works, I know, and things like that, huh? Okay, here's the deal. If we're talking about factors, why don't we break down the 100,000, right? So notice that, let me just put it down, 100,000. This right here, it's equal to, well, we have a lot of zeros. How many? Five of them, of course. So that's 10 to the fifth power. And 10 is the same as two times five, right? And then to the fifth power. So in another word, 100,000, I can break it down as two to the fifth times five to the fifth. Huh, cool, huh? Now, let's see. Let's break down 20. Well, 20 is the same as two times 10, and 10 is the same as two times five. So I can look at 20 as two to the second times five to the first. So you see, 20 divides, and we can just break it down in terms of its prime factorization. Well, if you look at 15, 15 is three times five. Huh, do we see something interesting? Yes, isn't it? First of all, this right here is the prime factorization of the number 100,000. It's two to the fifth times five to the fifth. Well, if you look at the prime factorization of this number, which is 3 times 5, you see 5 does go into this, but 3 does not go into this because 3 is not here. And you notice 2 to the second times two, uh, 5 to the first, this right here does go into that because of the power. 2 and 1 are smaller than 5 and 5, and that's the idea. So here is the deal. In order for a number to be a factor of 100,000, this factor right here, they mean just say, if you have a number that divides into 100,000, this number n, it has to be in the form of 2 to some number. And usually for the power, we don't, I, I don't want to use a or b, uh, I want to use alpha and beta. n has to be in the form of 2 to the alpha times 5 to the beta, it has to be like this, okay? And what are the alpha values? Well, imagine if I just have 5. 5 does go into 100,000, right? Well, that means I don't want to see the 2. And that means alpha can be 0. So right here, in fact, alpha can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And likewise, I can also have the beta to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as long as you pair this up carefully, 
So for example, I can just choose 2 to the second times 5 to the first, and that number is guaranteed to be a factor of 100,000. And now, how many choices of alpha do we have? Six of them. How many choices of beta do we have? Also six of them. So, you see that, I will just tell you guys, the number of factors for 100,000 is just 6 times 6, right? So, 6 times 6, you know this is 36. Then I will just tell you guys, here is the answer. We have a total of 36 factor. So, just a quick example, n could be the following. I can choose 2 to the 5 times 5 to the 3rd. This right here, it's a guarantee to be a factor of 100,000. Because you can just put this, you can just put this on the numerator and divide that. And of course, this and that will cancel. And you can just reduce 5 to the 5th divided by 5 to the 2nd. I mean, 5 to the 3rd, you get 5 to the 2nd, which is 25. So that's the idea. Pretty cool, huh? And of course, you guys all know about the 100,000. I just want to thank you guys so much. I cannot believe that I reached 100,000 subscriber. And by the way, for the math wise, you can generalize this and you just kind of break down whatever number right here you have into a power of prime. And that's called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. You can always write a number in terms of product of its prime, right? Unless it's a prime already. And you can just kind of see the power right here Right? This right here, you pretty much just add 1 uh, because you can go from 0 to this number, five, 0 to 5. And this exponent, you just you know, add 1, multiply them. That's all. But anyway, <laughs> I know I just interrupted myself. I want to thank you guys so much for the 100,000 subscribers. And of course, I want to special thanks to my uh, wonderful girlfriend, my number one subscriber, Jia Jia. Okay? And she's the one who has been helping me. And she's the one who plays the intro music, the Doraemon theme song, and also all my outro music, and the cats, Oreo and also Luna are her cats, and you know, I want to just say thanks to her so much, yeah, she has been a great support, and of course, you guys, everybody who watches my video, I want to thank you guys so much, I also want to thanks to, I want to also thank um, Dr. Payam, Wuhan, and of course, Flambo Math, and also Fematica, and everybody who have been sending me, um, messages and you know, videos and also uh, math questions and things like that. I have a lot of fun working with you guys and solve your questions, all the fun things, right? I hope you know I can grow my channel. Uh, maybe next time we will do a maybe 200,000 subscribers uh, special or maybe 500,000 subscribers uh, special and maybe even more later on, right? And I promise I will keep making interesting math videos for you guys to the best of my ability of course and once again i want to thank everybody so much for this opportunity for me to present myself to share my math knowledge with everybody in fact all around the world right and i know it's not just 100 000 people are watching there are tons of other people are watching as well you just haven't subscribed yet it helps you guys do um soon as well and if you guys like my videos, you know, please leave a comment down below. I love to read your comments so much. I mean, seriously. It's amazing. Seriously, it's just amazing. And then um, all these, including haters. <laughs> including the haters. I, I like to read your comments too. It's, it's funny. Yeah. And um, yeah. But yeah, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And uh as always though, I hope you guys like this question. This is one of the number theory questions I like a lot because it bothered me when I was in high school and then uh, at some point I realized how to solve it by uh, seeing, after seeing the fundamental theorem of uh, arithmetic, which is really cool. Yeah, and once again, shout out to my girlfriend, Jia Jia. And uh, I'm not going to edit this video because I want to show you guys the 100% authentic me to you guys, okay? And yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. <laughs>